Ayo, J Rowix, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to J Week day four. Wait, hold on, we're gonna do a thumbnail. Alright, there we go. Alright, so day four of J Week now, that's four videos in a row. Or that, that was eight. Bits! <laughs> you know what I mean. Four videos in a row. So today I'm gonna have a quick story time for you guys. So, as a lot of you guys know, I'm into sports a lot, so back in forever ago, I blew out my shoulder and I never got it checked out because I'm a complete retard. But as the years went by, it progressed more with injuries, so I kind of got screwed over with baseball and I couldn't play anymore. So I didn't get cleared by my doctor to go play baseball because I have to get an MRI and possible surgery on my right shoulder. So keep that in mind, it's my right, sh it's my right shoulder that hurts. So I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna go do track instead because I did track last year. So I got cleared for track, only for the running part. So I'm like, okay, what could go wrong? I'm gonna be running. So I was at track for the first time. My first practice was two days ago on uh, Tuesday, I believe it was. Yeah, Tuesday, because today's Thursday. Um, so I had my first practice and I found out that I was gonna run the 800 meter, which is a uh, half a mile in the meet tomorrow, which was yesterday, it's Wednesday. So I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna do that. First day back from track, already gonna be running a half mile for me. So I'm sitting there on the bleachers, and this is now yesterday, and I'm getting ready to run the 800 meter dash. Well, not really a dash, you'd die if you dashed it. No, the 800 meter run. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, you know what, nobody does hurdles. So I was like, I walked up to my coach and I was like, coach, who does the 300 hurdles? And he said, not a lot of kids, he needs hurdlers. So I was like, you know what, let me take one for the team. So I was like, let me try hurdlers. Let me try the hurdles. I never, I never done it before. Trust me, I've never done it before. I never even jumped a hurdle before. So I was just messing around, jumping, jumping the hurdle before I got out there, and I was clearing them. So I was like, okay, this should be all that. You already know. So my adrenaline's pumping. My coach comes up to me, pats me on the back, and goes, "Listen, Jason, I need you to run the 800 meter after this. Do not get hurt." I was like, "No problem, coach. I won't get hurt." I get ready. I'm in lane one, so I'm the one that everyone can see. I'm in lane one, I get set. They say, on your mark, get set. I raise my butt in the air. Then they pop off the gun to go. I'm running, I'm sprinting. 20 meters later, I fell on my face. Um, what happened was, I jumped over the hurdle, I cleared it, but I was trying to like run while I was in the air. So I tripped over my feet and I fell. And I got this nasty cut right here. And then I also got a cut on my hip. I cut on my shoulder and then my knees all bruised and I have a cut on my knees so yeah it didn't work out good for me for hurdles um, but the funny thing is if you get out of your lane during a race you're disqualified I fell so perfectly that I stayed in my lane so all I all I'm doing is sitting there like this I'm like ow I'm in pain and all I hear is my coach's dumbass go Jason finish you're not disqualified and I'm like are you kidding me so I get up and I finish the race, clear every hurdle, had no problem with finishing the race. Then I walk off and everybody's like, oh my God, are you okay? And I'm like, what? And I didn't realize how badly I was cut. I just thought I had like a bruise or something like that. But then I look at my shoulder, my shoulder's all red and all bloody. My hips all red and all bloody. I feel my knee hurting, but I had compression pants on so I couldn't see what was wrong with my knee. And then I felt my chin and there's blood and I was like, oh, okay, this is, this is, this is quite nice. So I couldn't run the 800 meter, so. What I was supposed to run, I couldn't even run it because I sacrificed for my team. But I finished the race, so that's awesome. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I just thought it was pretty funny to share with you guys for day four of J-Week. And I know I said that if you guys get the views up, we're gonna have a song tomorrow. But unfortunately, that's not gonna happen. It's not because I don't wanna record a song, it's because I've been very busy lately doing the Noctis and I'm also practicing for Skills USA, which I'll be going to Hershey, which I will be vlogging by the way. That's gonna be three videos in a row for that by the way. So it's gonna be like a J Week Junior. You feel me? Catch my drift? Alright, so pretty much um I can't come out with a song tomorrow and I apologize to all my fans. I really want to hear a song, but I promise you guys as soon as I come out with a song it's gonna be En Fuego and you guys are gonna love it. I promise you that, so I won't let you guys down. So tomorrow, I'm gonna figure out what I wanna do for the video. Um, <clears throat> I didn't eat anything, but I had something in my throat. All right, we Gucci. But anyway, yeah, so tomorrow is gonna be the fifth and last day of J Week. 
and yeah. Uh, the first couple of videos I only got like almost 30 views on. Uh, yesterday's video I got 50 views on in the first night, so hopefully you guys keep on running that up. That one's like one of the most important ones that's about the knock beat. So make sure if you guys are tuning in for this episode of J Week, make sure you guys tune into the last three videos. Um, that's pretty much all I gotta say. So I wanna thank everybody. Uh, like and subscribe below. Comment any YouTube video ideas below. I need some in my mind. And that's pretty much all I gotta say. Go share with your family, your friends, and that's pretty much it, guys. I love you guys all. Thank you for the love and the support, and stay cool, J Rogues. Bye. Bye. Stereotype radios turn me down.